looks like I'm hiking in a cloud today. It's a bit of a shame because I'm gonna climb a really tall mountain and I probably won't see anything unless it's above the clouds, but uh... Well, I mean, I would take myself as an example because I don't work very often. I hate work and I think whenever I work, it's a waste of time. So with most of my life, what do I do? I love to explore the world. I love to dive and to see different places and to climb mountains and also to learn about it, to know what's going on on our planet. And I think if people had the time to do this, there would be a lot more people who would be a lot more interested in real things, you know, things that aren't just um, superficial. I don't think people would get bored. I think there's so much to discover, so much to do, so much to improve upon. Yeah, I think it's silly to think that people would get bored without their jobs. It's just that in today's world, people get bored because they don't know much about the world. They grew up watching all kinds of movies. They are not that interested in, in the real world, in science, in understanding what we're all made out of, understanding all the animals around them, understanding the universe around them. Most people are trapped in their jobs and when they don't work, they usually just do some superficial things to relax. I mean, it's so extraordinary if I consider all the animal species and all the plant species that live on this planet. I would love to learn more about these things. I would go into science and like question and learn more and like advance the relationship from us humans to the planet. So I would really love to um, yeah, be able to do that. Maybe I would like to learn more about the universe, about, I don't know, medicine. Maybe we could find a, a cure for cancer if we all work together, if you, we all have time to work together. Hey, I'm in Paris Airport, and we're about to fly to the reunion on this for nature preservation and helping animals. I would probably would do the same thing what I'm doing right now. I would play music, I would uh, film videos, I would uh, continue studying and uh, exploring the world, uh, how it works, uh, how we can make it better. It's six in the morning and I'm in Montenegro and I'm taking part in a dolphin research. I've seen a huge bear yesterday and now we're standing here. <laughs> I will try to learn the behavior of uh, animals and how everything is worked and linked together. Uh, you know, I, I would just be curious about the world and um, I wouldn't need to stress about how to survive and how to make a living. <laughs> that was scary. <laughs> and um, yeah, I would do all kinds of different projects which really interested me and which really can improve life of the society or of the environment. It depends on what people are interested in. You can go and explore the sea, for example. You can dive and see all kinds of corals and see how they're doing. And if there are problems, perhaps you can help. You can learn more about them. You can help restore certain ecosystems. That's the kind of world that I see that, you know, more people helping each other and helping the natural world get back to how it was. We'll be able to grow our knowledge to learn more about space, to know more about our own planet, to know more about the ecosystems around us, to know more about our universe. There's so much to learn. I don't think we'll ever hit a wall in terms of how much we can learn and truly progress. We'll always have problems to overcome. We'll have more pandemics, we'll have uh, asteroids hitting the earth, we'll have all kinds of natural disasters and we can come up with all kinds of ways of dealing with these problems. Oh, wow. We're getting visual confirmation. All right. We got it? Even a perfect world will never run out of problems. So there will always be something to solve. There will always be something to work towards. There will always be something to improve. If I give you $1,440 a day, every day, 
1440 dollars every single day probably he will try to maximize this amount and try to spend it you know save it spend it you know make the best out of it because it's every day a lot of money well 1440 are also the minutes in a day your time on this planet so how about we create a society where we maximize that we maximize your time because it's non-renewable you know the more free time you have and the more relaxed you are that should be valuable in our society how about that imagine that